welcome to this restorative yoga session. Um, you won't need any props for today, so let's just take it um, slow, slow everything down and enjoy a bit of me time and slow time. Mm -hmm. So come to a comfortable seated posture. You can place your hands on your thighs or in front of your heart center and take a moment to invite your breath in consciously. Begin to feel the rise and fall of each breath in your body and through your body. Notice how as you focus your mind on your breath, everything starts to slow down. Feel a sense of calmness begin to come to your body and to your mind as well. Just continue to watch the breath for a few more moments. Experiencing the expansion and contraction of each breath, rise and fall of each breath. Each breath nourishing the cells in your body. Start to gravitate your hands to your heart center if you're not already there. If you would like to invite an intention for your practice today. Is there something in your life that you would like to slow down maybe or invite a little uh, calmness into right now? or just stay with your breath. And then drop your head slightly towards your heart center and release your hands down. Lift your gaze and blink your eyes open. Hands arrive on your knees. Inhale, lift your chest and roll your shoulders back. Exhale, round your spine and bring your chin towards your chest. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come upright. Let's change the cross of our legs around. Bring your right hand down by your side and inhale, extend the left arm alongside your ears. And then as you exhale, sweep down through the center, a little forward fold. Bring the left hand down and inhale, sweep the right arm alongside your ears. Exhale, sweep through the center. Inhale, left arm rises. Exhale through the center. Inhale, right arm. Exhale through the center. Now stay in the center, walk your hands forwards and let your head go. And as you drop your head down, you can stay high or come down low, breathe in. And out. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Good. From here, inhale, rise up and slide your hands a little forwards and roll up onto your hands and your knees or in any way that feels good for you. Align your knees under your hips and your wrist under your shoulders or slightly in front of your shoulders. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, round your spine. So let's come into a few rounds of cat-cow. Move with your breath. Allow the breath to lead the movement. 
So you're not rushing and not ahead of your breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, spine forward. And exhale, coil. Inhale, reach your heart forward. And then exhale, if you have your toes tucked, untuck your toes and take it into child's pose. You can reach your arms forward. And as your forehead touches round your spine to come back up, inhale into cat. Exhale, as you come into dog tail, start to stretch back. And again, as the forehead touches round your spine, inhale, movement starts from your legs. Exhale, reach your heart forward as you take it back into child's. One more like this. Inhale, round your spine to come forward. And exhale, take it back into child's and hold. In child's pose here, come onto your fingertips and make it a little bit active. Reach the sides of your body forwards. Wiggle the sides of your body forwards as you send your tailbone more back. Breathe in. And out. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Place your hands back flat on the floor. Relax your arms for a moment. Deep breath in. And out. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Lovely, from here, round your spine to roll back up onto your hands and knees, and as you do this, drag your hands slightly towards you, and exhale, neutral the spine. So we're gonna start from the right, so reach the right arm up as you inhale. As you exhale, bring your right hand to touch your left waist to coil. And then inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, coil. One more. Inhale. And exhale, coil. Inhale, extend the right arm up. And then as you exhale, feed the right hand to the left and come to rest on your right temple. So extend your left arm forwards. You can come onto your fingertips. Start to lift your tailbone up and melt your heart down, but keep your belly engaged slightly. And then relax your arm. Breathe in, your right arm and knee, and out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Breathe in. If you want to be more restored, if you can place your left hand flat. And exhale. So you're going to press. Um, you're going to keep your left hand on the floor and come up a little way. So press into your left hand to come up and slide your right forearm under you and bring your forehead onto your forearm. And then from here again, pulse your heart down towards the floor as you stretch your belly in two directions towards your heart and tailbone up towards the sky. Breathe in and out. And then lift up halfway to look ahead, extend your right arm forwards and glide forwards onto your belly, come into Sphinx Pose. You can align your elbows under your shoulders. From here, start to extend your legs back, push into the floor and inhale, lift your forearms up. You can keep your elbows bent and exhale, drop your forearms down. And again, inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Lovely. From here, extend your right arm forwards and roll onto the right side. You can lay on your arm and then tone this um, right leg and bring your left foot behind you. Grab your ankle and align your knees side by side. Push your pubic bone slightly forwards and push your foot into your hands without actually moving it. Breathe in. So you don't have to take your foot more back. Just keep it here for a moment. One more breath. Inhale. And then exhale. I'm going to bring my right hand in so my forearm comes to the floor and I rest my forehead back on my forearms. And now I'm just going to draw my foot towards my heel. You can inhale, release. And exhale, draw in any amount. Inhale, release that tension. And exhale, pull it in. One more. Inhale. And exhale. 
and then let the foot go. I'm going to slide my hands by my chest and inhale slowly. Come up, Bhujangasana. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, you can undulate to come up. And exhale, let it go. And one more. Inhale. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, roll up. Pull your belly back to come up. And send it back into child's pose. Extend your arms forwards again. Maybe come onto your fingertips for the first couple of breaths. And then if you want to, again, be more restful, just rest your palms down onto the floor. Breathe in. And out. Inhale. Exhale. So again, round your spine to come back up. And as you do this, drag your hands back under you. And exhale, neutral spine. So left hand. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale as you coil, left hand to your right waist. Inhale, send the left arm up. And exhale, coil. Inhale, big extension. Exhale, coil it in. And here's the transition. Inhale, lift the left arm up. And exhale, send the left hand to the right and come onto your left temple. And then from here, extend your right arm forwards. Extend your right arm forwards. And again, you can come onto your fingertips or flatten your hands. But keep a sense of length in your spine so you're not just collapsing into the pose. Breathe in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. You can bring the right hand to flatten the floor. Then lift up a little and slide the left forearm under your forehead and start to sink in half anahata. You're trying to melt your heart down towards the earth as you lift your tailbone up. Breathe in, float the rib cage. Breathe out, melt your heart. One more like this. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift up a little way, lift your head, and slide your left hand forwards, and come all the way down onto your belly. Sphinx pose. And then inhale again. Bring your forearms off the floor. You can keep dragging your hands back and exhale lower down. So as you press your hands into the floor to come up, then pull your hands back towards your feet. Exhale, let it go. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Extend your left arm forwards. Roll onto your left side and bring your foot behind you. So if you haven't got the balance here, just bend your knees without catching your foot and keep your right hand in front of you. If you have the balance, reach back, catch your foot. And again, you're just pulling your heel towards your hip and then send your tailbone slightly into the front of your body. Big breath in. And out. One more breath. So I'm going to slide my left hand in front of me and roll onto my belly. Bring the forehead back down onto the forearms and draw the heel in towards the hip. Breathe in. And out. Big breath in. And out. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Let the foot go. Bring your hands back by your chest and send the left hand out to the left. Also keep the legs extended. Cobra pose. Inhale. And exhale. Let it go. Two more. Inhale. Drawing the belly up and your legs back. And exhale. Let it go. One more. Rising up as you inhale. And Exhale, let it go. 
Inhale, roll up. Pull the ribs back and exhale back into child's pose, balasana. Again, first two breaths, maybe arms extended forwards. You can wiggle around a bit to release that little bit more space in the side of your body and in your back. And then you can let your hands be a bit more restful. Inhale. Exhale. Big breath in. And down. Then in your next inhale again, round your spine, roll back up onto all fours and exhale, arrive. Then inhale, extend your right arm up and this time we go straight to the left. Exhale, right hand over to the left. Keep your left hand here for a moment and see if you can extend the left leg comfortably out to the left with your foot flat on the floor. If you have the balance here, you can extend the left arm forwards and if this is still good, you can take your left hand up towards the sky. There's a tendency to want to lean too much over to the right, so balance that out with your leg. Breathe in and keep that long extension by pressing down on that right shoulder and extending the left arm up. One more breath here. Inhale. Now exhale, press into the right shoulder. Take your hips back a little and rise up. Breathe in. Exhale, come up onto your left heel. Inhale, extend the right arm overhead. Come back upright, breathe in. Exhale, extend the right arm overhead. Inhale, come back upright. And exhale, extend the right arm overhead. Hold here for a moment. Maybe rotate up towards the ceiling a tiny bit as you inhale. And then as you exhale, let the right arm come down in front of you. As you bring your hands down, slide the left leg away and bring your right foot in. So you come to a seated posture. Frame your left leg so your right knee is bent this way. So as you frame your left leg, pull the left sideways up and draw your chest forwards. Inhale, lengthen and exhale fold any amount inhale lengthen brighten your legs and exhale fold one more inhale and exhale you can stay down for a moment hands are passive and gently root down the right sit bone the right side of your hip and continue to broaden your collarbones as you extend your heart forwards. And then on your next inhale, roll up and exhale, reset. Lovely. Cross your ankles, roll or walk forwards back onto all fours. Lift your chest as you inhale. Walk your hands forwards and maybe start to come down into Anahata. You can stay high here in pulse or come all the way down onto your chest if this doesn't feel too strenuous. We won't stay too long and then glide forwards onto your belly. So if you want, you can bring your hands a little closer now for this pulsation. Inhale, press up, stretch your leg bones back and exhale, bring the forearms back down as you release. Inhale, pressing up. Remember, you can always stay with that first gentle pulse. You don't have to come up into the big back bend. Inhale. And exhale. So I'm going to bring my right hand in front of me this time and roll onto my right side. Your forearms can be more at a diagonal this way. Bend your left knee, reach back and catch your foot and gently start to press it away this time. So push down on the right arm to give you a little bit of length in the right waist. Flare your toes behind you. Breathe in and out. And then with or without your hands, roll down onto your belly. I like to break my, my right forearm a little bit more straight for this one, so your choice. And then from here, you can either stay 
with pushing the foot away and pulling it in, or if you feel ready to take it into a deeper stretch, spin your fingers in line with your toes. Inhale, press. And exhale, release. Inhale, pushing into your hands, just gentle pulse. Exhale. One more, breathe in. And out. Gently release your foot back down to the floor. Glide your hands by your chest. You can stay again with little baby cobra or come onto your fingertips and inhale, roll up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, undulating up. And exhale, release. One more, inhale. And exhale, release. Place your hands flat by your chest to come up onto all fours and press it back into extended child's pose. And again, maybe the first few breaths make it a little more active, rooting the tailbone down behind you, stretching your chest and the sides of your body forwards. And then once you feel satisfied, you can release and come into resting child. Breathe in and out. Inhale. And exhale. And take your next in-breath, round your spine again, drag your hands back under your shoulders and exhale around. Left arm reaches up as you inhale. Exhale, send your left hand to the right. Again, stay here and see if you can extend the right leg out comfortably. And if this is good, either extend your right arm forwards or reach it up towards the sky. Press down on the left hand to give you that support and continue to lengthen your spine. Breathe in and out. Big breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna press onto the left arm, move your hips slightly back to come up, come up onto the right heel. Inhale the breath and exhale, reach your left arm overhead. Inhale, come upright. Exhale, left hand to the right. Inhale, come upright. And exhale, side stretch to the right and hold here. And again, you can press down onto the shin and spin your chest slightly open towards the sky. Breathe in and exhale. Let the left arm come down in front of you. Spin the left foot in as you slide the right leg away. Frame your right leg. So there's going to be like a little shortening of your right waist. So lengthen the right waist and inhale, lengthen. If this is enough for you, stay here or exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, brighten your legs. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And you can stay high or drop your hands down, come down low, but just watch again that you're not kind of collapsing that right side waist. Breathe in and out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, start to come up and exhale. Bring your right foot in front of your left, cross your ankles and crawl forwards. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, walk your hands forwards. And again, you can stay high in the Anahata or start to pulse your chest down towards the floor. Breathe in and out. Another breath, inhale and exhale. Slide forwards onto your belly. And you decide how high you want to go with this seal pose, the sphinx pose. Inhale, press away. 
Make sure your sacrum feels happy. Exhale. Inhale, slowly rolling up. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale. And exhale. So bring your left hand in front of you and swivel over onto the left. And then reach back, catch your right foot and start to press your foot away. Try to keep your knees somewhere um, in line with each other. Press down on the left hand to give that left waist a little bit of support. Breathe in. And then exhale, you're gonna start to roll down onto your belly. Your hand can stay this way or bring it more diagonal, you choose. Or you can even come back down this way if you want to be a little bit more restorative. Do the same as you did on the other side. Inhale, whether you're here pressing your foot away and pulling it in or here. Inhale, exhale. Big breath in and out. And then gently release your foot. Bring your hands by your chest. Then you can stay with baby cobra or come a little deeper. Inhale, rise. And exhale, release. Do something that makes you feel happy, your body feel happy. And exhale, so that the effort feels a little bit liquid. And exhale, let it go. Bring your hands by your chest and inhale, press up onto all fours. Extended child's pose as you exhale. Big breath in. And out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, we're gonna place your hands flat. And as you inhale, roll up onto all fours. Arrive with exhale the breath. Send the right arm up again, inhale. Exhale, right hand feeds to the left. So you have a choice here. You can take your left leg out to the left and stay here, or reach your right hand towards your foot, catch hold of the edge of your foot. And then if you have the balance, reach the arms forwards, arms up, or bring it around your thigh. Continue to maintain a sense of length in your spine, and there should be no pressure in your neck. If not, please go back to the variation before this big breath in. And out. Inhale. And exhale, you're gonna release this foot. Reach your left hand back up if you're here or if your hands are forwards. Press into the right shoulder, shift your left hip back, shift your hips back and inhale, come up. And this time exhale, spin your left toes out to the left, bend your knee and bring your left forearm onto your thigh. Inhale, sweep the right arm alongside your ears. Exhale, sweep it back out to the right. Inhale, full extension. Exhale, sweep it back to the right. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, we're gonna sweep the arm over to the right. Hold here. If you like, you can bring your left hand down towards your foot and have a bigger stretch to the whole right side of your body or you can even catch your ankle here. Inhale. And exhale, you're gonna bring the right hand down in front of you. Hands come down, slide your leg away, and come down to sit. Reach the right arm overhead again. Left arm comes inside of your thigh, or your shoulder comes inside of your thigh, and side stretch. If you're very open, bring your left hand towards your thigh. Maybe you're catching your foot or not. Reach, extend. So again, if you catch your foot and you sacrifice the pose by forward bending, Maybe try letting go for now. One day they will connect. Inhale with consistent practice. Exhale. 
another breath, inhale, and exhale, lovely, inhale, start to rise, and exhale the breath, cross your ankles, crawl forwards, walk your hands more forwards, stack your hips over your knees for Anahata, deep breath in, and out. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Good, glide forwards onto your belly. And this time we go straight into this pulsation. Bring your hands by your chest and stand on your fingertips and bend both knees and flex your feet. Inhale, roll up, and exhale, release. Inhale, roll up, and exhale, release. One more. Inhale, and exhale, release. Inhale, roll up. We're going to hold for a moment. Just check that your pubic bone is on the floor. Drag your hands back and broaden your collarbones. And exhale, gently release. Make a pillow with your hands. Rest your forehead on your hands and gently windshield wiper your legs left and right. And then drop your feet down and maybe shift your hips from side to side for a moment. Allow the breath to return. Breathing into the back of your body. And then slowly drag your hands back by your chest. Through cobra, all fours, inhale. And exhale into extended child's pose. Big breath in. And out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale, exhale, get ready, roll up onto all fours as you inhale, and exhale, arrive, left arm reaches up, inhale, send the left arm over to the right as you exhale, remember you're welcome to stay here, or take the right leg out to the right, at some point you will have to do this. And then if this is possible, again, maybe you reach your left hand towards your right foot. The progression is here. Or wrapping your arms around your left thigh. Maintain the length in your spine. Breathe in. And out. And then check in with your neck and make sure that's comfortable. If not, release your foot and use your hands as support. Great. And then you're going to extend the right arm up, release your foot, and slowly shift your hips back, come upright as you inhale, and as you exhale, squeeze the left, right foot in, and place your right hand onto your right thigh. Inhale, sweep, extend the left arm alongside your ears, and exhale, bring it back by your side. Inhale, big extension, big breath. And exhale, bring it back by your side. One more. Inhale. And exhale. You're going to sweep the left arm alongside your ears as you inhale. If you did on the other side, as you exhale, you can bring the right hand down inside edge of your foot. Keep an extension in your head. Big breath in. And then exhale. Let the left hand come down. Scoop the right, left foot in as you come down to sit. Extend the right leg away. Right arm comes inside of your thigh. They can, it can also just come onto the top of your thigh. You don't have to go quite so deep. Inhale, extend the left arm. And exhale. So again, as you inhale, find a little bit of spin. As you exhale, find a bit of release. And just pulse with your breath to create space 
And feel also if you can root that left sit bone down and feel that stretch in that lower waist. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale, come upright. And exhale. Cross your right ankle. Walk forwards. Crawl. Stack your hips over your knees. Anahata as you exhale. Float the front ribs as you inhale. Exhale, melt your chest. Floating up as you inhale. And coming forwards as you exhale. Slide your hands by your chest. Bend your knees if you like. Especially if you're quite open. You can bring your big toes to touch and start to pull your toes towards your head. <laughs> inhale, rise. And exhale, release. Keep your feet active. Inhale, rising. And exhale, descending. One more. Inhale. And exhale, descend down. Place your hands by your chest. We're going to go straight into child's pose with your toes together and your knees wide and let it go you can bring your arms now bend your elbows and be a little softer here inhale exhale big breath in and out one more breath inhale and exhale good reach your arms forwards again and start to roll up back onto all fours and bring your knees a little closer in so you're going to walk your hands forwards a little forwards of your shoulders and slide your right knee towards your right wrist and take the foot slightly in and then walk your left foot more back Stay high here, or if it's possible for you and not too strenuous, come down onto your forearms. And without sinking, so without sinking your hips down to keep them somewhat square, come down onto your forehead, or make two fists with your hands and rest your head on your hands, on your forearms, or all the way extended. Notice if anything feels like it's asking for more space and if it is just draw in for a moment and through that space and release and see if that makes it feel a little more comfortable or just see if you can relax around that discomfort another breath here inhale and exhale lovely and then from here you're going to crawl up if you're all the way down just a little way roll onto the right sit bone and bring the left leg forwards for today just going to bring the left foot in front of your shin this way or in front of your ankle so both sit bones are on the floor hug your knee and bring your left hand behind you inhale lengthen and exhale twist keep your head neutral today so your nose is in line with the center of your chest and you're just focusing on twisting a little bit from the belly broadening your collarbones but more importantly maintaining that length in your spine And then inhale, come through the center, open twist, and back through the center. Let's catch your left foot and start to cradle it. Sneak your right foot forwards. And you have the choice to stay here. Cross your shins in front of you so your legs are more forwards than usual. And you see a triangle down in front of you. Or bring your ankle onto your knee and start to come into fire log pose and if you're here and your knees somewhat high 
bring your hands down behind you and pulse so extend mm, rock your hips forward <laughs> but if this feels good you can come into forward fold Couple more breaths here. And then walk your hands back up to come upright. Roll back and bring your knees together and give them a hug. Hmm. And from here, bring your hands forward and separate your feet. Roll down onto your back. When you arrive, draw your feet a little closer, bring your arms overhead and lift your hips off the floor. And for the first one, I'd like you to just stay without going into that full back bend in this kind of like plank bridge. Exhale, bring your hands down. Inhale, float your arms overhead, lift your spine and your hips off the floor. And exhale, bring it down. And the next one to hold, inhale, bring it up and hold here. Relax your arms and just experience again your breath in the posture, not aiming for too much muscular engagement. One more breath, breathe and, and then exhale slowly, lower all the way back down. Cactus your arms, separate your feet as wide as your mat, and drop your knees over to the right. Turn your head over to the right. And this again. Let your breath do the work for you. Turn your head back to center as you pull the knees up and drop your knees over to the left and turn your head over to the left. And then turn your head back to center and inhale, pull the knees up. Pull the knees in towards you, grab hold of the top of your knees and bring your thighs close to the side of your body. And you can circle your ankles here if you like. And the other way. So you have a choice to either roll onto your side to come back up onto all fours or you can rock up to sit. Cross your ankles, bring your hands forwards and transfer back onto all fours with your hands a little forwards and then drag your left knee towards your left wrist and slide your right leg back and then here do the same as you did on the other side either stay high or come down though so sometimes when we have a lot of flexibility we tend to sink completely onto the side so try to keep your hips somewhat even and then Either come to rest on your forehead, on your forearms, or on two fists. And again, check if anything feels heavy. So if the pose feels like it's dumping into your hips or into your knees, then engage a teeny bit in so you take the weight off and take the pressure off. It shouldn't feel uncomfortable. And then your next inhale, slowly climb up halfway, roll onto the left sit bone and bring the right leg forwards. So again, this foot comes either in front of your ankle or slightly in front of your shins. Hug your, your knee with your left hand and bring your right hand down behind you. 
keep your chin in line with the center of your chest inhale lengthen and just focus on turning the body as opposed to your head keep your collarbones nice and broad breathe in and out notice how you're lifting your spine inhale exhale big breath in and out lovely and then from here counter spin come to the center as you inhale and exhale spin open so as you come back to the center grab your right heel another hand on your knee and sneak your left leg forward and come to cradle your leg you can even decide to stay here if you're enjoying cradling your leg so shin to shin in front of you or ankle to knee hands come behind you if you need to tip your pelvis forward to get more length or if you're happy to forward fold go ahead You're allowing the breath to release any of that tightness that you feel in the posture. So wherever you feel the sensation, send your attention there. And notice if you're able to melt that sensation just by willing it, breathing into it. If it feels too intense, consider backing off. And then next inhale, start to climb back upright. And bring your feet side by side, give it a little hug. If you don't want to roll down with, without your hands, you can bring your hands down and roll back down and roll down with the help of your hands this way. So again, when you arrive, pull your heels a little closer and this time keep your arms alongside your body. As you inhale, Press into your feet and lift your hips and your spine off the floor and extend your arms overhead. As you exhale, slowly bring the arms back down as you lower your spine back down to the floor. Again, inhale, slowly rolling up. Exhale, rolling back down. Inhale, roll up, this time hold here. Press into your feet a little more and as you exhale, sweep your arms out to the side and bring them under your body and start to roll your shoulders in towards each other. Extend your arms towards your feet. And just check in that you're not resting on your neck. Breathe in. And out. Another breath. Inhale and exhale take your arms out to the side and slowly lower all the way back down to the floor good take the arms out to the side this time and bring your feet a little closer to your hips pause for a moment press into your feet lift your hips a little and roll the hips onto the right and allow your knees to drop to the right You can turn your head over to the right just to be a bit more restorative. If you want, the right hand can come on top of your thighs or just leave it just where it is. And allow the breath to do the work for you, to create the release for you. turn your head back to center first and inhale pull the knees back up press into your feet take readjust your hips and your shoulders and then take your hips up a little roll over onto the left hip and let your knees drop over to the left and drop your head over to the left And inhale, bring your head back to center. Roll the knees up, readjust your hips, and then pull the knees in towards your happy baby. 
grab the edges of your feet or you can grab your ankles. If this is not comfortable, bend your knees and bring your knees down by your side. Lovely. And then release your feet. Bring your knees together and circle your knees either away from each other or if you prefer, keep your knees together and circle them one direction and then the other direction pull the knees in towards you give it a big hug bring your head to your knee and squeeze into a little ball and then release your head and your shoulders down now if you have a wall handy and if you like put putting your legs up against the wall, go ahead and put your legs up against the wall and I'm going to give you a little um, uh, longer Shavasana here than I normally do in the videos. So I'm going to lay down in Shavasana. You can take this also in Shavasana or if you know you can comfortably put your leg up against the wall, go ahead. Shift about until you feel comfortable. And if you're not ready, just pause the video until you're ready. And once you're ready, try not to move the body anymore. Notice your breath right now once again. And notice if the breath feels different from when you started. Again, not judging any experience, just watching and becoming aware. And then let it go. Feel the weight of your head. Notice that contact point between the back of your head and your mat. And then very deliberately relax the muscles around your head and your neck and feel your head getting heavy towards the earth. Notice the weight of your eyes. And then deliberately let them drop into the back of your head. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Notice the sensations around your jaw. Allow the jaw to part and feel the ears drop towards the earth. And feel the whole body starts start to release. Relax around your chest. Relax your shoulders. And feel the weight of your arms as your arms start to drop towards the earth. Feel the weight of your hands and all your fingers release and let it go. Soften the muscles around your belly. Release and relax the muscles in your back. Relax your buttocks. And relax your hips. Feel the weight of your legs. Release and let it go.
Feel the weight of your heels sinking towards the floor. Relax the soles of your feet and all your toes. And then feel your whole body, the weight of your whole body. Very deliberately release and let it go. Notice how you've naturally arrived in a deep, quiet space inside. And connect for a moment to the deep peace of this space. Feel the lightness here, the vastness of the space. And once you feel complete, Allow the mind to rest and let it go. Rest you for as long as you need. Thank you for joining practice today. Namaste.